The topic of this video is World War I and how it led to the forming of the League of Nations. Right here is just a map um, to kind of give a quick recap of who was involved in World War I. Um, for the Central Powers, we have Germany, Austria, Hungary, Bulgaria, and the Ottoman Empire. And they fought against the Allied Powers, who were Great Britain, France, Russia, Italy, Romania, Japan, and the United States, although the United States is not shown on this map. Um, despite all of these countries being involved in World War I, uh, almost all of the fighting was actually between Britain, Germany, and Russia. Right here is just a map, uh, or excuse me, the flags of the countries that won World War I and how they used the momentum from World War I and the victory of World War I to go on to create the League of Nations. This is just a picture of a trench during World War I. Um, this is important because the warfare itself was actually very important, important um, to leading to the development of the League of Nations because trench warfare was a lot of new tech with old fighting styles. So essentially it was people using old fighting styles such as trenches and bunkering down, but they were fighting against bombs, gas, barbed wire, mines. Um, there was dead zones where mortars would just constantly bombard people, snipers, and um, it was a very bloody and gruesome war. Um, but this bloody and gruesome war did lead to the talks of making a new way to resolve issues, uh, a less bloody way to resolve issues. Um, that led the allied countries, or the victors of World War I, uh, to create the League of Nations. This picture is actually the United Nations in a session, uh, not the League of Nations. Um, this is pretty much just to, to tell you that the whole point of the United Nations, as I said, or at the time League of, League of Nations was created, was to try to solve problems in a formal and not as serious way. Um, international problems are obviously a huge deal, and it'd be preferred if countries, especially the superpowers of the world, could find ways to resolve international conflict and problems without bloodshed.